Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do for this shot is we're gonna club up one. I just like to give myself a little bit of leeway, so I'm just gonna take one club up uh, that I normally would uh, in the fairway. And then the second thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna play the ball a little bit farther back. We really want to make sure that we catch mostly ball, not mostly sand. And so putting it back in our stance is gonna help us with that. So the third thing that we're gonna do is for this shot, for this yardage, it's probably not gonna be a full swing for us. If it is, that's great. And sometimes when it's we're not taking a full swing, it can be really hard to make sure that we accelerate through the bottom of the ball. So just because we're not taking a full swing back, doesn't mean that we're gonna kinda decel on the downswing. We really wanna make sure that we really accelerate through the ball. We don't want to decel on this and we also don't want to overswing it. So we just want to make sure that we just take a nice normal swing and really accelerate through the bottom of the ball as we normally would in the fairway. The reason why we don't want to decel and we don't want to overswing is because the contact for this ball is really important. We really want to make sure that we get great contact. So either of those two is going to affect that. And the other thing that's going to affect contact is making sure that we maintain our spine angle through this entire shot. So what does that mean? So I'm going to show you. So maintaining your spine angle means that whatever your posture is it's set up, we're going to maintain that through the whole swing. We don't want to stand up. We don't want to bend down. We don't want to sway and get behind it. We really want to make sure that we're maintaining that, that spine angle through this whole shot because contact is going to be really crucial with this shot. So if we stood up, we're going to thin it. If we bend down, you're going to chunk it. If you get behind it, we're going to chunk it. So it's really important that you, you maintain that spine angle through the whole shot. So let's go hit it. So I've clubbed up one. I'm gonna put it back in my stance a little bit. I'm really gonna make sure that I'm maintaining that spine angle and I really wanna make sure that I'm just having a nice acceleration through the ball and really committing to this shot. Okay, so we've got our standard bunker shot here, standard lie. So we're gonna go over the setup. So for our setup, my stance is going to be a little wider than it normally would for a regular chip shot. And my toes are going to be pointed outwards. So I like this because I feel like it gives me a little bit more uh, movement and my movement isn't restricted. It also helps me with my weight distribution. So for my weight distribution, it's gonna be forward. So my stance is wider, my toes are pointed out, my weight is forward, and the ball is going to be forward. So the ball position is going to be off of my left toe. So now we've got our setup. The next thing is the club face. I see so many amateurs when they're trying to hit bunker shots and their club face isn't anywhere near as far open as it needs to be. You really wanna make sure that that club face is nice and open. It needs to basically be laying flat on the sand. So we really want the fat part of your wedge or your bounce to be resting on the sand. And then you need to maintain that club face angle for the entire shot. Okay, so we've got our setup. Wide stance, point, toes pointed out, weight forward, ball forward, face open. Now the last important step is what we need to focus on. And it's not the ball. You don't want it. We're not trying to hit the ball. We're trying to hit just behind the ball. So we want to focus about an inch behind the ball. So to give you a visual, I'm going to make a little indentation here about an inch behind the ball. And I'm just going to rest my club, my club here. This is a great way to practice your bunkers as well, is to make that indentation with your club, keep your club here to start, and then focus on hitting that spot an inch behind the ball. So that's where we need to focus on. 
We don't want to hit the ball because then we're going to catch it thin and that's when you're going to hit your skulls or, or you're going to blade it out of the bunker. We also don't want to hit too far behind it because that's when we're going to catch it fat. So about an inch behind the ball is going to be the ideal spot of where we want our club to hit the sand so we can just get that ball all nice and nice and high and soft out of our bunker. So let's give it a go. Now we're out. So this is your everyday chip shot when you are around the green, around the fringe, your lie isn't crazy, you've got some green to work with, um, there's no obstacles to go over, it's just your standard chip shot, okay? So for this shot, you can use literally any club you want. I have my 60 degree wedge, I love my 60 degree wedge, um, but you can literally use any club you want. So you can use sand wedge, gap wedge, pitching wedge, nine, eight, seven, five, four, whatever you want. And it's literally the same setup and the same swing, no matter what club you have. So let's go over the setup. The setup is the most important part of this chip shot because the rest of it pretty much just takes care of itself as long as your setup is correct. So we, for this shot, we want the ball a little bit farther back in our stance. So we're gonna put the ball off of the inside of our right heel for our right foot. Okay, and we want our feet about a foot apart. I don't like it when you're, when my feet are too far apart because I feel like it restricts movement. Um, so I like to keep my feet a little bit closer together, so about a foot apart. Okay, so we're gonna put my feet, of, our feet a foot apart and the ball is going to be off of my right heel. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is now we wanna club the close the club face and we want our hands in front of the ball. So to do this, we're just gonna grip normal and then we're just gonna move our wrists so they're basically over our left foot. And the most important part about this is we need to maintain that angle the entire time through the whole swing. We don't want this. We don't want to break down, especially when we're trying to hit a bump and run. It's really crucial that you keep that wrist angle. Okay, so we've got the ball off the right heel, feet about a foot apart, wrists, hands forward, club face closed. Maintain that angle and then we're just going to rock our shoulders and that's it. Really easy. Do it one more time for you ball off the inside of our right heel, feet are about a foot apart, hands forward. Hey guys, welcome to Flop Shot Challenge Friday. That's right, Flop Shot Challenge Friday. I want you guys to send me your best flop shot. I'm going to pick a winner by tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern, and the winner will receive a personalized signed picture of me and a visor, okay? So again, you have till tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm picking a winner. I want you guys to send me your very best flop shots, okay? Because flop shot is personally my favorite shot in the game. Um, I mean, how, does, how do you not love a good flop shot, right? I mean, it's just sexy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my flop shot. Okay, so for a flop shot, it needs to be in the front of your stance, okay? And the weight needs to be pretty much all the way forward. Okay, you're gonna open your club face and speed is the key when you're hitting a flop shot, okay? You can't have any slow club head speed going on down there because there's gonna be no spin, okay? Club face open, weight forward. Now we're gonna hit fast and kind of down on it. Pop it up. Nice and soft. So, good luck. And again, I'm picking the winner tomorrow, 6 p.m. Show me your flop shots. Hey, you guys. A lot of you have been asking me to do a little bit of a bunker demonstration drills that you can do. And I'm going to show you two really great drills. Um, the first one I'm going to show you um, was actually a drill that Sevi Ballesteros used to do. And it's really helped me a lot. So the important thing I want you to remember in the bunker is that you're not focusing on trying to hit the ball. If you hit too much ball, you're going to hit it thin. If you hit too far behind the ball, you're going to hit it chunky. You need to focus on that spot where you want your club to hit the sand, which is about two inches behind the ball. 
So the first drill I'm going to show you, and I personally use this one a lot. Um, again, you can't do this on the golf course, but you can definitely do it on the practice green. Okay, so behind the ball, two inches behind the ball, you're going to dig your club in. That's where you want your club to hit the sand. Okay, so for this drill, you're going to start your club in this little slot that you've made and swing back and hit that spot on the way through. The second one I'm going to show you is a similar drill. Again, focusing on the spot where you want your club to hit the sand. You can have a row of balls. I just have one here. Draw a line two inches behind the ball. This line is where you want to practice hitting it. And you can even do this drill without a ball. You can draw a line in the sand and just practice going down the line and hitting that spot. Okay, but for this, I'm going to show you how to use it with the ball too. Okay, so I'm hitting this spot, not the ball. And that's how you're going to get better at getting out of the bunker. So I hope you guys like this um, little demonstration and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? I just got back from practice and I got a lot of requests from you guys to show some um, chipping demonstrations. And I'm super excited about that because the short game is actually my favorite part of the game. Um, you can get so creative with it and there's so many different opportunities for different shots, different clubs, all kinds of stuff. So we won't get into everything today, but I just wanted to show you one simple thing um, for different types of chip shots based on your ball position and it's a super easy way to hit three different chip shots. So I'm using my 60. I actually really like to use my 60 a lot but um, it's also important to practice chipping with all kinds of different clubs for all kinds of different shots. So you can use anything up to a 9 or 8 iron if you want to hit a long bump and run. So it's so important and I can't stress enough the importance of when you're practicing your chipping don't just stand in one spot and hit one shot take four balls, go around the practice green, and hit all kinds of different shots with all kinds of different clubs. And the more you practice that, the more confidence you're gonna have using that when you're on the course. So I'm just gonna show you a really simple technique for three different chip shots. The first one is going to be a little bit of a higher trajectory shot. And for this, it's just gonna be off of your left foot in the front of your stance if you're lefty off of your right foot. Okay, so, and if anything, it can actually be a little bit more in front of your left foot. But it's really important because you can't hit a high shot if your ball's in the back of your stance. It's just, it's not going to work. Your club's going to bottom out. Okay, so it's important that it's in the front of your stance. You're not changing your swing or anything. It's just ball position. Front of your stance. High shot. The second one just is going to be an average chip shot, um, your standard trajectory, it's going to roll out a little bit, okay, is going to be in the middle of your stance. And for this, my weight is a little bit more on my left foot. I don't really want it back here because that's going to promote bottoming out before you hit the ball, which is a chunk and not good. Okay, so it's just in the front, my weight's a little bit on my left foot same swing, different shot. And the last one, which I personally like to use a lot, is more of a bump and run style. This one is going to be, you guessed it, off your right foot, or lefty, off your left foot, in the back of your stance, okay? With this, again, it's still important, my weight is still more towards my left side, not back, even though the ball is in the back of my stance. Okay, and the same thing, you don't have to change your swing. The ball position has done all the work for you, okay? Back to your stance, same shot. A little bit lower trajectory, and that's gonna roll a lot more. So um, anyways, I hope you guys liked that little chipping demonstration. There's so much to do for short game, and I can't do everything in one video, but I will do the best I can to start doing some more videos for the short game because again that's my favorite part of the game so i hope you guys have a great day and a great golfing day talk to you later bye